Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Okay, okay, okay. I promise y'all I am going to act right in this video. But today we are talking about the seven things that a man will do if he only wants sex from you while in the dating phase. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, look, we all grown here. We've probably all had an experience or two where someone wasn't really that into you, but they just wanted to be sexually intimate with you. Listen here, we're going to break it down because these are seven signs, seven things that a man will do if he only wants to have sex with you. So ladies, sit back, strap on in, because these are some things that you're gonna wanna take note of. And while we're here, drop in the comments because I love to hear what y'all have to say. Has this ever happened to you where a man only wanted you for sex? Or men, if you in the comments too, let me know if you have ever only wanted to be with a woman for sex and nothing more. So while we're here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay notified of all of my weekly videos coming your way. So look, the first one is obvious. The first thing that a man will do if he only wants you for sex is that he's going to focus on the sexual intimacy part. He's not gonna try to get to know you, get to know your mama, get to know your friends. All he wants to do is get you in bed. And this is truly going to be evident because that's the only thing that he's going to focus on. When you first meet him and you guys may go out on a date or two of something of that nature, but all he's trying to do is conquer you. All he's trying to do is get in your pants. All he's trying to do is see what your sexual game is like. So that means he's going to be doing this very early. I'm talking about probably even the first day or the first few days of you guys meeting. He's going to try it. He's going to try to see if you are willing to have sex with him. He's going to try to see if he can have a one night stand with you or have sex with you on the first night. He's going to try and pull out all of the stops to see if he can get you in bed. Now, if you give in, in my tab at the brown voice, because that's your business, you need to be aware and be cautious of these things because if he feels like he can get it early on one time, let's just say it was good. Y'all had a good encounter. He going to try to do it again. And again, and again after that, and again after that, and then this is going to turn into some kind of just sexual encounter thing, and there's going to be nothing more. And God forbid, sis, if you do desire to go further, or if you do really like him, I don't know if the chances of that happening and it developing into something like a relationship and or even marriage is going to be on the table because he saw you as somebody that was quote unquote easy. I'm just trying to tell y'all what the streets are saying. What a lady in the street, but a freak in the bed. That's what Ludacris said. So just make sure if you out here hiding and bopping and thotting in these streets, that your business is not all in the streets because baby, no man wants to be with a woman who knows that she is for the streets and all the other men know that she is for the streets too. Second thing that a man will do if he only wants to have sex with you while in a dating phase is that he is going to avoid deep conversation. Like I mentioned before, he's not going to try to get all deep and wanting to know your goals and your dreams and your aspirations and what do you want to do in life and have these really deep conversations with you. The opposite will actually be true. He's going to be very surface. He's going to keep conversations very minimal. And if y'all do talk about something, it's going to be real petty and surface. It's going to be, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite number? Little stuff like that is not going to be anything deep where he can be vulnerable and be open with you and or where you can be vulnerable and open with him. Because if you do, he really not going to care. He's going to be like, girl, why are you telling me all these feelings? Why are you showing me all these feelings? Don't tell me all of these deep thoughts. I don't want to know all of that. I want to know when is the next time we're going to have sex. So trust and believe he will keep it light. He will keep it surface. And he will not have any type of emotional availability with you and be open and honest. So that's something to be aware of. Number three, the next thing is that he's going to show little interest in getting to know you. I've already alluded to this already, but he's genuinely not going to want to learn anything about you, your style, your personality, your family, your friends, your education, your upbringing, your work. Your... He's not going to want to learn any of those things. 
And if you feel open enough to divulge the information without him inquiring, I think he might go ahead and shut down, change the subject, go a different route because he's just not really that into you that way. So we have to be aware when men are just being very surface and very light and he just has no interest in getting to know you. If you find that to be the case and he never asked you any questions, he never wants to know anything about you. All he wants to know is when the next time I'm going to get in them jeans. Listen, he probably is only here just for the sex. And number four, the next one, if he's really just about the sex, he is going to make minimal commitment. I'm talking about when it comes to not wanting to be in a committed relationship with you or taking the relationship to the next level, whatever that looks like. And or he's going to avoid talking about the future, right? Because again, he doesn't see one with you. He just sees you for right now for a piece of meat for a piece of what you can offer to him sexually, and that is it. So if you are noticing that conversations aren't really going anywhere, y'all are just staying in the same place, y'all are not talking about futuristic things or things that you want to do together, or even the relationship advancing to the next level, then this is a clear indicator that he is really just not into you that way, and he's only just here for the sex. And to be honest with you, nine times out of 10, men are probably compartmentalizing, meaning they have intercourse with certain women. It could be one and or more, but then they also have women that they see something that could be potentially developed. And so they keep those situations very separate, but they're compartmentalizing. Oh, I'm going on dates with this person because they have good sex. I'm going on dates with this one because I do eventually want to be with her. Oh, I'm going on dates with this one because, you know, she does have good conversation. Oh, I'm going on dates with this one because she can advance my career. They are compartmentalizing all of these things and essentially using different women for different contexts. Now, this isn't just exclusive to men. I've seen women do that as well. And women tend to do it better, <laughs> in my opinion. Doesn't mean it's right, but I do see that that is the case. So if you are seeing these same examples, it's more than likely that this is just a sexual situation and you need to take it for what it is. The next one, number five, is if he is inconsistent or have unreliable behavior. Listen, a man who only wants to have sex with you, he is going to be a flake, okay? <laughs> now, he may be consistent on the times where y'all link up to engage in sexual encounters, but if there's anything outside of that, maybe he's not really calling you, he's not really texting you, he's not planning any date. He's not talking to you for long periods of time. When he does talk to you, it's very short, quick, to the point. He is just unreliable. You cannot count on this man for anything. If you were stranded on the side of the road and called him and said, hey, I need some assistance, he is not the person to call. Nine times out of 10, he just cancels any plans that were made. If it's not going to end up with you in the bed with your legs open, <laughs> Listen, he does not want to be involved in it. And so we just have to take the red flags. We have to take the signs. We have to take the hints as is instead of making situations into something more than what it will ever be. And I know that's hard for us to swallow as women, especially if you really like this man. And you're like, oh, we have good sex. And yeah, I may have had sex with him early on, which is fine if that's something that you prefer. But your feelings can get real intertwined and intertached if you're not aware. And God forbid you are locked in, tapped in and wrapped in with this man and he is not tapped in and wrapped in with you. It's going to cause for some friction. It's going to cause for some issues because you guys are not on the same page. And that's where we see people's heart get broken. That's when we see people have an emotional attachment to somebody that they shouldn't have an attachment to. And this is when it gets ugly. And I mean, real ugly. Number six is if he doesn't take you out. Now, let me tell y'all about this one, because listen, it is a full blown thing. If you find and you see that y'all are always in the house, y'all are always in the bedroom, whether that's his house, your house, a hotel, whatever y'all choose to do, but you guys never go out in public, I want you to be like, hold on, okay, maybe this is just a sexual situation because there is absolutely no encounters with the outside world. He's not planning no dates. He's not taking you out anywhere. He's not even taking you to the corner to go get a burger from the local burger joint. He he doesn't want to be seen with you in public. And that could be for a number of different reasons. It can be literally he's in a situation and you could potentially be the side chick 
oh, that's a, that's a thing. It could be he is just not really that physically attracted to you, even though the sex may be good, because we know men have sex with people that they're not physically attracted to all the time. Let's be clear. Or simply he just doesn't want to be out in public with you because he knows that he might run into a family member or a friend or y'all might find and see somebody that you guys know. And then you'll have to explain who is this person? Are we introducing as friends? Are we not introducing at all? Like there's just so much and so many layers to this. And so to avoid all of that, y'all just don't go out in public at all. And number seven, last but not least, this is how you can tell if a man only just wants you for sex in the dating phase is if it's only late night or weekend communication only. This is an indicator to me, to be honest with you, that this man is in a relationship and or he's probably already married. Because if you can talk to someone in the middle of the day or text them in the middle of the day or something of that nature, even if you work a regular nine to five, that's an indicator to me that, you know, you are able to do what you need to do. Now, if he's only, only texting you like super late at night, like 12, one o'clock in the morning, that means his partner is probably asleep and he's sneaking. OK, this also means if he got any kids, the kids is asleep so he could creep. Right. This also means that. But I've also seen the opposite happen, not engage with you in the late evenings or the weekends because they are with their family. They are with their actual partner. They are with someone else and they only communicate with you during the daytime when they're at work. Right. Or when they're free during the day, because they know by the time they get home, they are preoccupied with the person that they really want to be with. So I've seen two different scenarios and both scenarios happen. But either way, if you're fine with that, then that's up to you. If you know that this is only a booty call, if you know that this is only just sex and you don't want anything more and he doesn't want anything more. And there's two consenting adults agreeing to engage in this type of sexual activity. Do whatever you want to do. I am not here to judge. But if one or the other is not on the same page, if one or the other wants more and the other person doesn't, a conversation needs to be had because if not, somebody is going to get their feelings hurt. And again, this is going to turn into a very ugly situation and then you gonna feel like he played you and then he gonna feel like well I didn't really play you because I told you what was up from the beginning and then you are just gonna be all in your feelings and it's gonna be a freaking wreck so to be honest my final thoughts on this is just to trust your gut like I said if you want to go into this situation with both parties knowing that this is only going to be sex cool do whatever you want to do but if you're going into this situation knowing that you have feelings for this man way beyond just the bedroom, you're going to get yourself wrapped up in a whole bunch of mess and drama and trauma because your thoughts and your feelings are going to be intertwined with him and he's not going to want anything more than that. So trust your gut. I want you to go back and rewatch and write down some of the things that I mentioned in this video so you can be aware of them. Use them as signs. Use them as red flags that in your dating relationship, then this tells you that you just need to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on and have the conversation. Too often we just stay quiet because we don't want to mess up the little sexual engagement or we think that he might evolve to eventually like us. Like there's just so many different scenarios. But my thing, my rule of thumb is just to be honest from the beginning. If you only want sex, say that. If you're looking for something more, say that too. If you find that you only wanted sex in the beginning, but then it evolved and developed into something more and you start to have feelings, say that. Stand in your truth. Because if not, you are going to be kicking yourself in the butt knowing that you didn't stand in your truth and your power. And you could have potentially had a good thing if you would have just been honest in the first place. Now, it's always 50-50. It can go either way. It can always go either way. But if you put yourself out there and he says, yeah, you know what? I do want to take this to the next level. Good. You said something. But if you never say anything and he never says anything, then what? We're just going to be doing this thing forever, ever, and never, never. And that's not cool. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. And I'll see you next time. Bye.